Hello and welcome to the first video in this mechanics playlist. The videos in this playlist are going to get you ready for the level 1 mechanics external exam that you'll sit at the end of the year. In this video we're going to be talking about what mechanics is. Then we're going to talk about the two types of questions they ask in mechanics exams. And finally we're going to discuss how best to study for mechanics. So sit back and relax, we're not starting on the physics just yet, but in the videos below we'll teach you everything you need to know to do great in the end of year exam. But before we do any of that, we need to know what we're studying. And the topic of this external is mechanics, which can be described as how objects move. So anything in the world that's moving has mechanics acting in some way. For example, let's say that you're going for a run. You can measure the run you're going on in terms of how long you ran for, or the time it took. You could measure it in terms of how far you ran, or the distance. Or you could measure it in terms of how hard the run was, or how much work you needed to put in. All of these things are called physics concepts, and they're just ways that we measure how objects move. The other thing that confuses people are mechanics formulas, which can be quite scary if you've never seen them before. So I'm talking about things like V equals D over T, or W equals FD. A physics formula is just a way of relating these physics concepts together. For example, if we know the time that we ran for, and the distance that we ran, we can work out a new physics concept, which is speed represented by this letter V, so how fast we ran. If we knew the force we ran with, and the distance we ran, we could calculate the work it took to go for a certain run. And if you're sitting here, and you have no idea what these formulas mean, don't worry about it. That's going to be our job to teach you how to use these formulas, what they mean, and how to answer questions. For now, all you need to know is that mechanics formulas are just ways of linking these physics concepts together. But we're not just here to answer mechanics questions. We also want to do well in our exam. And to do this, we need to understand the types of questions and the answers they expect in a mechanics exam. Now in mechanics, there are two types of questions, the explain questions and the calculate questions. An explain question looks something like this example on the left. Is it possible to work out the time to travel to Dunedin from Christchurch? And you know it's an explain question because it has the word explain somewhere in the question. When they ask you a question like this, they don't want you to work out a number answer. They want you to have a think about it, and then they want you to write down a word answer. So you might say something like, yes, it is possible to work out the time to travel from Dunedin to Christchurch, but you'd need to know the speed, and you'd need to know the distance. This would be an appropriate answer for an explain style question, because it needs to be answered in words. On the other hand, they have calculate questions, and you can work out it's a calculate question because it has the word calculate in it. So it might be calculate the time to travel from Christchurch to Dunedin, and then they'll give you some numbers. In a calculate question, what you need to do is get the numbers, work out what they mean, put them into a formula, and work out the correct number answer. Often, this involves doing algebra, but before you go, oh gosh, I hate algebra, and I don't want to do it, I do have some good news. In physics, the formulas at this level are quite simple. So most of the time, you'll just grab the numbers that they give you, put them in the right place in the equation, and it should be fairly simple to rearrange it. And finally, we want to talk about how to learn the content for mechanics. And in our opinion, there's a three-step process. The first thing is learning the skills, and we recommend watching through all the videos which will teach you everything you need to know for mechanics. As you go, you want to practice questions. So in this playlist, we have questions after every block of teaching related to what you just learned. So you can give the questions a go to consolidate your knowledge, and then watch the answer video, and a tutor will take you through exactly the right answer so you can make sure that you've understood. And then finally, at the end of this playlist, we have past exams. All of our past exams have tutors taking you through every single answer, so if you ever get stuck, you can watch through how they do it, so you can go into the real exam having done past exams, having done tons of practice questions, and having watched the videos so you know the skills. So what do you need to know on one slide? So mechanics is the study of how objects move, and formulas relate to these physics concepts together. You need to know that there are two types of questions in the physics exam. Explain questions need to be answered in words, and calculate questions need to be answered with numbers. And finally, our recommendation, learn the skills, do the practice questions, do the past exams, all with LearnCoach, and then go in and succeed in your exam. Thanks for watching the video and looking forward to taking you through the physics.